Okay, uh, good afternoon guys. Uh, welcome to our uh, subject, subject IT320. Uh, we are now on our chapter 7 of week 7 of our um, discussion on unit 3, chapter 7. Uh, for the course title, uh, the chapter title is Network Printing. And our topic for this afternoon is about terminal access and integration. So we have the objectives. Number one, uh, discuss the importance of terminal access and integration in system integration and architecture. Number two, value the importance of terminal access and integration in system integration and architecture. And number three, understand the basic concepts of terminal access and integration in systems integration and architecture. So as I've said, our topic is about terminal access and integration. So you can see there on figure eight, uh, 18, uh, the com commerce platform for payment terminals. So last time we talked about uh, the terminal access for payments and we talked about the mode of payment like Pinmaya and other services. So now um, this is also a related topic for, uh, for that kind of um, topic. And terminal access integration is just the continuation of the last topics that we did. So terminal integration um, lets you integrate your privileged identity manager endpoints to track the activities of users who use privileged accounts. And that the terminal integration works only when the user checks out privileged account password and uses automatic login to log in into the privileged identity manager endpoint. So for the computer terminal, uh, a computer terminal is an electronic or electronic mechanical hardware device that can be used for entering data into and transcribing data from the computer or a computing system. So the teletype was an example of an early day hard copy terminal and predate use of the computer screens by decades. Uh, as of now, as of late, uh, for teletypes, it is used for call center um, systems. So the function of a terminal is typically confined to transcription and input of data, wherein a device with significant local programmable data. Processing capability may be called a smart terminal or fat client. A terminal that depends on the host of the computer for its processing power is called the dump terminal or a thin client. So you can actually, guys, you can actually um, configure or you can differentiate smart terminal from a dump terminal. So an example of a, a, a smart terminal is your POS, just like your, when you are going to have your groceries at Gaisano or at, uh, at uh, say more. So that is an example of a smart terminal. So when you speak about a dumb terminal, I think you already uh, transacted with your automatic teller machines or your ATM. So that is an example of a dumb terminal. So personal computer can run terminal emulator software that replicates function of a real world terminal and sometimes allowing concurrent use of local programs and access to the distant terminal host system. So this is either over a direct serial connection or over a network. When we speak about computer terminal, we can refer to emulation. So an emulation is defined as a terminal emulator and is a piece of software that emulates a text terminal. So in the past, before the widespread use of local area network and broadband internet access, many computers would use a serial access program to communicate with other computers. So this is via telephone or serial devices. So I can recall uh, during the 1990s, so I don't know kung pera niyo karang una, 1990s, 1994, 95, 96, 97, so during those times, guys, uh, the internet was still very young and an R printer is a serial printer. So lapad siya, guys, and we don't have any inkjet printers. And 
uh, a, a serial printer is actually a, a serial uh, connected with a serial device or a serial port going into your computer network. So, ang anang uh, kable, hindi pa siya, it, um, cut, cut 5, cut 6, hindi pa tamo ka dadang ginakrimpingan yung bala ka kable sa inyong data com bala, bukot amo da. So, yung ginagamit pa is ang kable nga pario sa ano, uh, coaxial cable. Pario ka dang cable ninyo sa dang antena nyo bala. Na. So, those are coaxial cables. And the serial terminal has uh, 15 pins compared to ang uh, inyong uh, port na terminal nga which is 15 pins. Uh, 8 pins. So, I know nga kaagi ka mo ka crimp ka cat 5, cat 6 nga uh, cable or ang kable bila. Uh, but a serial terminal is a different uh, thing altogether. Uh, Pero nowadays, guys, uh, those are suspended via smart terminals. So, karang una, dumb terminals pa ang ginagamit. Pero until now, we're still using dumb terminals for your ATMs. So, but now, most of the time, uh, based on your uh, concurrent technology, we are using uh, smart terminals more than the dumb terminals. So, for the modes naman, uh, terminal can operate in various modes. Uh, this is in relation to when they are sent input, typed by the user on the keyboard, to the receiving system. So what I, uh, whatever that may be, no, uh, just in case of a character mode. So this is also known as the character at a time mode. Uh, in this mode, this is type input is unbuffered and can sent immediately to the receiving system. So for example, your text message. So that is an example of a character mode. When you speak about line mode, this is also called the line at a time mode. Uh, for this mode, the terminal is buffered and provides a local line editing function and sends an entire input line after it has been locally edited. So when the user uh, presses an example, like for example, your enter key, uh, the so-called line mode terminal operates solely in this mode. So just like when you are going to click on a printer. No? so. Uh, and I'm not saying a standalone printer, just like uh, when you're going to print on an uh, inkjet printer, bukon. Uh, it is like uh, printing sa, in sa internet cafe, bala. Nga ang connection is network. So, mudang nga set up. So, that is an example of a line mode. Now, when you speak about a black mode, this is also a screen at a time mode. And for this kind of mode, uh, it is a black oriented. So, what do we mean when we speak about block-oriented? It means that the terminal is buffered and provides a local full-screen data function. So, guys, explain ko lang kung ano ang buffering na ginatawag. So, ang buffering is just a delay or a time or a situation wherein ang inyong uh, data from, like for example, on an internet access, uh, nagabuol pa ka mo ka data or nag-buffer. So, hindi nyo na maran nga real time kahit eh, may bottleneck nga ginatawag. Ang bottleneck nga da, once yung data nag, uh, hindi tayo yun yung pagsulod ka data. Kaya ang signal nato hindi guys, is analog, not digital. So, ano yung kinalain ka analog kag digital? Ang analog, nag-travel sa straight, ah, nag-travel sa ng curved line or wave. So, wave, sine wave ang ana nga, ano, just like your uh, antenna. Uh, nga nag-receive ka signal sa television. So, the same man da sa radio waves. Nga, ang signal nga ginaano nyo. Pero, nowadays, it's hybrid na. Uh, mix na ka, ka ang digital, kag analog. Ang, ano ninyo, ang, ang cable TV, ang satellite cable nyo bala, ano na siya, uh, digital. Pero, ang uh, radio waves naton sa radio station, it's analog. So sa ano naton signal sa dang cellphone or sa signal dia sa internet it's mix of both analog kag uh, digital. Pero nowadays guys nag-shift na kita sa digitalization. Nag-amat-amat doon ka digitalize kay amo daya ginapangita ka gobyerno naton gina modernize bala. So next year gani no why do kaya 
ang TV ninyo, kinanglan, kung makareceive ka mo ka free TV, dapat may black box to ka mo. Wala doon it uh, uh, analog. So kung nag- uh, uh, doon ka roon, nag-sige pa, pero next year ata i-implement nanda ang uh, i-digital doon nanda. So the same thing sa mode, nga black mode, no? So it's a mix of um, digital and analog uh, signals. So amo da yagwa na. Okay, so to continue our uh, discussion guys, um, for a moment let me ano anay, let me give uh, get a reaction from you. Uh, if you're listening to me, uh, please raise your uh, uh, hand. Okay. So okay, very good. Thank you guys for uh, your reaction. Uh, I am um, I'm just checking kung nagapamati pa kamo kun akon or uh, di pa kita. Kaya ang lesson naton medyo boring no. Kaya ito isa hapon kita naka ano. But anyway, thank you guys for your reaction. Okay, let's continue our discussion. So for the mode, we're still on the black mode. Um So the terminal sends only the completed form consisting of all data entered on the screen to the receiving system when the user presses an enter key. So that is our black mode. Okay, so we have also called your black-oriented terminal. In this case, uh, for the black-oriented terminal, uh, it is a mode of terminal that is a type of computer terminal that communicates with this host in a block of data as opposed to character-oriented terminal that communicates with its host one character at a time. So a block-oriented terminal may be card-oriented, display-oriented, keyboard display, keyboard printer, printer, or some combination. So as you can see there on figure 19, that is an office computer terminal. On figure 20 naman, that is a NOTA terminal. Uh, NOTA terminal is, ano na siya, acronym guys. Hindi na basibla kung ano, isipon nyo kung ano dang NOTA diagram nga da. Uh, a, a NOTA diagram is, the, this is the uh, configuration for devices. Uh, just like your streams and messages. So uh, that is in relation with your uh, terminals. Okay? Uh, ANOTA is an acronym for Network on Terminal Architecture. Para klaro kita. Basi ibalalain nga NOTA in yung uh, panamduman dyan. Na. Okay. Wholesome kita tulad guys. So lesson 17, Network on Terminal Architecture. So... Uh, this is just uh, another configuration for terminal access. Uh, unlike your block-oriented terminal or the emulation or the modes for computer terminal, when you are going to refer to network on terminal architecture, this is a modular service based on system architecture for mobile so and embedded devices. So this is specific sa mga sa inyo nga dang, ano, smartphones na sa inyong cell phones. So this enables mobile devices makers to speed up their product development by shortening the integration phase. So additionally, this makes it possible to quickly bring in third-party innovation into the product due to the loosely coupled and function driverless approach. So that is why guys, uh, do ka ron, samtang nga nipis nga nga nipis yung phone ninyo nga naghanggod sa Hanggod siya pero ganipis, no? That is the trend for cell phones. Nagadasig nga nagadasig ang processing time. So, di ninyo na mabasigan ang, ano na, ang processing time. If you will notice, if you go to YouTube and type in different kinds of phones or the latest uh, releases of phones, Android guys, ha? Uh, why pa kita nag- uh, why pa kita nag- uh, ano, nag- uh, compare sa mga iOS or sa iPhone, no? or sa ibang devices, unlike uh, Android devices, because that is the rampant um, uh, phone nga ginagamit natin tulad uh, Android phones. So, samtang, uh, kung, kung manotis ninyo guys, ang specs niya, ang sana bala, sa um, ang processor, uh, in terms of nanometer, ang pinakamugot do karon nga, ano, pinakamugot nga dang uh, access ka terminal, kadang uh, uh, ano ninyo kadang microchip gapangalasi ako pangalasi pa 
Sorry mga first year na. Oh, so, sorry guys. Uh, ang, ang ano na, ang ano, ang microchip or ang processor niya in terms of nanometer ang takos. So, ang pinaka namugot to karong nanometer is 3 nanometer uh, anak Samsung. And I think uh, maano na siya. Uh, ma-achieve nyo na ang um, 4 nanometer, 3 nanometer ng mga phones next year. So, samtang nga nagagamay, nga nagagamay, nagadasig, nga nagadasig ang ano na, ang processing power. The same man, sana nga ROM kag RAM. Uh, actually guys, hindi nyo kinanglan ang dako nga RAM kag ROM. Uh, kung ako, maskin gamay lang ROM niya, maskin for uh, actually the standard uh, sizes or the standard uh, uh, ROM on RAM, Nang sa ROM abi ano uh, 64 gig nga ROM kag 64 uh, gig nga RAM amo dayo standard sa mga cellphone tulad nga bago nga releases so may jan ka lang nga uh, 464 ROM RAM nga phone imo nga Android phone dasig duda guys kag amo lang dayo kinanglan ninyo uh, na notice ko pa do karon ang mga less than 10,000 phone uh, 10,000 pesos nga mga phones nga backlon may mga 5G na siya. So, amud lang ang gadasig nga gadasig uh, processing power ka inyo nga ano nga phone because of the specs at the same time ang uh, the advancement of your um uh, microchips. Okay, so going back to our discussion on uh, network on terminal architecture what benefit in the product is the uh, for the development no is the first time to market this is the possible this is possible due to multiple reasons that the product vendors can purchase already productized nota subsystems removing time needed for vendor specific requirement definition so uh, who are this vendor this vendor are your Samsung, your Realme, your OnePlus, your um, so those are the vendors, no? So specifically, uh, the, uh, ang vendor ninyo nag require ka definition, implementation, integration phases. So in case that there are no ready-made product on the market, not that type system level modularity allows technology vendors to do the implementation and testing without heavy involvement with the subsystem providers or the subsystem provides the example of this is the application engine so the application engine of this are your apps so diba, your android phone has play store your huawei has ang huawei tana may huawei store man sila Ang iPhone nyo, may dyan man nga play, uh, may store man tanda, Apple, play, Apple Store. So, uh, be, uh, not only the vendors are being mounted into the uh, terminal architecture for network, but also your softwares, including the applications or the apps. So, uh, another one, another thing about the benefit in product development besides fast time to market is the scalability in integration. So this allows product companies to do fast cost optimization. Cost optimization is ang uh, kumpara ang bili ka product nanda. Uh, ga depend sa paggamit ninyo kag ang sa return of investment bala kumbaga. So now what are you what are your reasons why are you going to buy a phone or a smartphone? Uh, flex lang para sa chicks, pang chicks lang or flex lang para may may mambal may phone ka nga astig or flex lang para nga ano so i think uh, you have to think about the use of the phone not the flex flex no or flex lang uh, you are buying the phone because of the need what is this need you need to communicate no with other people so if you are uh, uh, if you have a tool for communicating faster compared to the others you have the edge so like amo lang jaka simple. So like for example, uh, kamo naga uh, ano kita online class. So go online kit, class kita kun maya di phone ninyo. Sana all no. Ti maka ano tanan ka ka 5G nga signal eh maka ano tanan mas malami ya uh, inyo nga uh, experience sa pag online class. Though something like that. So sana all ganit no amo <laughs> So scalability and integration that is um, 
the, to do a fast cost optimization nga ginatawag uh, without major extra R&D effort. Kasi nag, ano yung nagapamahal sa phone, siyempre ang technology nanda. Kasi kung may na-offer sa nga bago nga technology, just like nga nagagamay nga nagagamay ang micro ang microprocessor niya, pero naga-faster nga naga-faster ang processing power niya. Pero nagabarato nga nagabarato yung prices na kahit competitive na ang market mo. So manami kani duro pilian, duro nga klase ka phone, duro nga ano. So duro ya pwede ninyo nga ano nga uh, nga barato nga maano nga mabakal. So not not only with the big brand products, mga Samsung, Realme or ano, pero may mga bago naman like or your Infinix. I don't know if you heard the product name Infinix na phones or iban pang phones nga man-an ninyo no. So muda. Okay. Um second to none is the cost reduction and product development and this can be achieved in two dimensions. Firstly, the system level modularity allows free and fair competition between different technology vendors including subsystem cost. And second, in many cases, product vendors do not have bare cost incurring for subsystems adaptation work specific to the technologies. So explain ko lang. So the first system level modularity, these are the free and fair competition. Meaning, uh, they are purchasing their product or gina market ng daya product nanda. And then expectedly, uh, based on your evaluation or the or your needs or whatever the things that are reasons for buying a phone, then that will be the basis. Why are you buying that phone? So the second, in many cases, product vendors do not have to bear cost. So that means less cost, uh, less expensive products. So less cost means barato, pero it, it doesn't mean nga uh, yeah, quality na medyo inferior. So going back five years ago, I think it is a vast major improvement in terms of phone technology. And why is it that we need to emphasize uh, phones as, um, as a product? The reason is, guys, ang isa nyo kayunet ng phone, the, it is one terminal. So, it is it is counted as one terminal. Terminal na sila, guys. Just like your standalone computer is one terminal in a network, or another term for terminal gali, no? is node na node N O D E. So another term for, as a networking bala, another term for no, uh, terminal is a node. Okay. And then the last one is the performance and features meeting end user end user needs or the pro, uh, uh, performance and features meeting the end user needs. So these product companies are more agile to adopt new technology or technology that's better users uh, meet uh, users meets uh, or the meets the users needs in digital uh, convergence devices so if you will notice i don't know if you notice it man that sa nagabuhay nga nagabuhay doon ang mga feature ka mga flagship phones karang una gamatamat doon siya naga ginadapt ka mga mid range phones ka ultimately ang mga low budget phones that's like for example dust proof uh, waterproof. So waterproof man ang phones natin actually is waterproof. Pero may dyan na nga, nga uh, ano nga recommended kumpara ang depth ka uh, kapag ka waterproof niya. So so base ano lang siya uh, until 5 meters or base magbasa basa lang ka oran okay lang. Pero hindi pwede nga ipabuhay nyo nga itosmaw. Ay base masunog or maguba ang phone. So those are the things that we need to understand in terms of uh, benefit in product development. Again, for a fast time market to market, scalability in integration level, cost reduction in product development, and performance and features using user needs. So those are the things that you need to remember. Now let's go to your uh, uh, activity, okay? For your activity number uh, seven, uh, this is called your Terminator 107. So this is not a Terminator that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is uh, emulating in his movies. No, it's not. So Terminator 107 refers to the conduct transaction and any of the following. So please listen. 
Uh, you only need to choose one. Isa lang pili on nyo guys ha. You don't need to perform all of this. Okay? So I think we I have uh, four cases or use cases. So the letter A is you're going to conduct a transaction at the ATM. So what are you going to do is produce a screenshot of your transaction. So I don't know if you can produce a screenshot. I'm, what I mean about this is uh, is you picture out your transaction. So you have to picture nyo bala sa ATM. Pero dasigo nyo lang. I think para nakasecond sa transaction. Kung madelay ka mo guys, maka-on yung card nyo. So be careful. So when you're going to kan ano ang screen niya, picture niyo. And then that will be your activities for letter A. Or kung hindi nyo gusto ang A, you can go to B. So B naman is conduct a transaction at 7-Eleven kiosk. What you're going to do? So example of the uh, things that you uh, that you're going to do for the 7-Eleven kiosk. Um, pay a bill. Kung ileko bill nyo na something like that. Load your GCash, your PayMaya or your coins PH na nga no. I think may PayMaya ka mo don. Uh, Paludan yung abi 100 pesos ang PayMaya nyo. And then uh, screenshots. So. Uh, that is now letter uh, letter B. Uh, C use case and letter C. You're going to conduct a transaction at Palawan Padala. Uh, either you're going to send or receive payments sa Padala mo or send or button. No? Oh, pwede man uh, load tran uh, load transfer or payments. Ang ileko bill nyo pwede yung buy dan sa Palawan and then picture nyo ang transaction. Na. Or letter D. Uh, conduct a transaction at any globe or smart loading station. Basta legit nga loading station, hindi sa tindahan. So, ang um, diyata na ang loading station is makita nyo may globe uh, loading or may smart padala nga uh, signboard na. So, you're going to produce a screenshot of your transaction or convert it to PDF and upload it in your Google Classroom. Okay, so do you have any uh, question guys among the activity or isa lang da guys ha hindi mo pag ubra kon ubos tanan isa lang okay uh, just a screen ninyo uh, pwede nyo dyan ma screenshot or um, I know that you have your also your ano um, no gani um, uh, module ninyo na nakita nyo doon so you can just refer to this uh, activity so again sulitan ko lang uh, you need to conduct one on uh, only one transaction so any of the transaction that you wanted to do kung din mas convenient ka ninyo guys uh, it's either you transact on an ATM transact uh, conduct a transaction at 7-Eleven busog pa ka mo uh, letter C conduct transaction at Palawan Padula or conduct a transaction at any smart or globe uh, loading station. So take note, our activity is related to our topic, which is uh, terminal, uh, what's this, can it? Uh, a terminal access and integration topic for this week. Okay, so I think that is all for this afternoon, guys. Um, uh, do you have any questions regarding our activity or uh, topic or uh, do you have any suggestions or reactions? Okay, so uh, is it clear already? Okay, so since uh, you don't have any question, um, okay, so I assume nga ano kaninyo guys ha? Um, Claro kaninyo. Please give a thumbs up if or uh, raise your hand if uh, clear ang instruction nato. Okay, very good guys. Okay, thank you. So samtang na nag raise ka mo ka hand, pinpicturean ko doon yung attendance ninyo na. So <laughs> thank you guys for um, attending our class this afternoon. I think uh, uh, yes, Angelo, you have any question? Oh, I man, it question. Sige, sige. No more questions, guys. I think uh, that is all for this afternoon. I hope that you understand uh, the things that you're going to do this week. And um, uh, upload your activities sa Google Classroom natin, okay? So thank you and uh, good afternoon sa tanan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good afternoon. 
Okay, sige. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, oh, uh, you can actually see the replay of this um, session later on. Uh, I will upload it sa ano lang. In the meantime, uh, ano pa na attendance ninyo guys ha? Ayun lang. So this is the seventh session. Oh, oh, ambiko na mista ka mo. Gane, gane. Ah, okay. Sige lang, uh, pwede niyo man gapon malan to karon, i-upload ko lang sa ano na to. Sa mate mo sir. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, sir. Sir, good Thank afternoon, you. sir. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Ang sir, ang regarding mula sa activity 6, sir, ha? Uh, excuse me, uh, ano ka ni ka mo, section A or B? Section... Nagsunod na kami, sir, A. Ah, uh, section B, no? Na. Ah, uh, okay. Sige, maskin, okay lang na kung ano, ah, section A, pwede gapon. Gino record butan ko lang na section B. He supposedly okay. Sige. Uh, why kaso, why kaso? Sir, guiding bala sir sa activity 6, sir. Oo. Eh wala kami at TV abi sir mo. Ah, uh, ano gan activity 6 na to na? About sir sa ano sa mag-download the remote. Ah, at least nga ninyo ya app na sa remote. Oo. Yes, sir. Sa piyak ba lang niyo kay TV? Kami, wala kami TV, sir. Ah, uh, diyan yung testingan sa, ano, sa eskulahan. May TV kita, Dio. Diyan sa likod ko may TV. <laughs> At tulong ka mo din sa school. Hindi na gali, sir. Oh, may, Ay, kang ligad-ligad kami mo mga kutser nga regarding sa muna. Ang sa A, sir, nga wala TV, bla, like Roda. Eh, wala mang kami TV, sir. May TV din sa likod ko. Ang po ba, B? Dawa, dahil lang. Wait lang, ha. Ah. Doon may TV niya. Na. <laughs> Kita niya TV. Diyan ko pa ron sa, ano, sa faculty room. May TV kita dito na. Pwede niya matasingan, B. Okay, the Rose. Rose Ann. Okay, sir. Okay, Thank sige. Thank you. Okay, welcome. What else pa? Okay, no more concerns, guys. Okay, I will... Uh, Wala naman, sir. I'll stop the recording now. Sige. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ay.